This week on Dumb Pitches, my guest is Beth Stelling, and we get to hear all about her HBO special, Girl Daddy, and how it should be getting an Emmy. But also, we come up with a horrifying movie idea about babies that can be born independently of a body. And um, I can't even remember the first one, but it was so much fun. I had a great time. We're, we're not crazy, and we need your help coming up with some titles and some covers. So let's get it going. Here we go. Dumb Pitches. What a bunch of dumb pitches. Oh. Welcome to another episode of Dumb Pitches with Monica Nevy. I'm Monica Nevy, your host. This is the show where we talk to successful people about their worst ideas. Very excited for our guest this week. I'm a big fan, and I'm happy she was able to do it. Uh, help me welcome Beth Stelling. Yay. Hi. Oh, yeah. We get live audience. Uh, wow, here. that's pretty cool. It is. It's nice. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um Thank you for having me. Is my internet connection stable? Is there a delay? I feel okay. Do you, do I feel, do you, can you hear me at the appropriate mm -hmm. times? Yeah, I feel like you're really calm, cool, and collected. Thank you, because that's not how I feel most of the time, so that's good. Um, <laughs> I actually, I'm going to tell you a story, which is probably a bad idea on my part, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I've been a, a big fan of yours for a long time. I think you're absolutely Thank hilarious. You. And we did one show together <laughs> um, in Los Angeles. This had to be two and a half years ago because it was maybe six months before everything shut down. We did Faded um, at the Blue Rooster or whatever it was at at the time. Oh, yes, the art supplies. Yeah, and Hollywood. I had never really been able to work with you, so I was excited. But, of course la night you know you had another show to get to so i was on stage but you were still there and i was like oh yeah she'll get to see my set and you just left halfway through like didn't there wasn't a <laughs> and i like at the time i was like she has another show like what did you expect her just to sit here for you you know whatever but i think about I, it like i stayed through half probably. yeah yeah that's pretty good <laughs> um you seemed un well was, was i laughing sometimes but I was well, watching that's... for sure, just in case. But yeah. I mean, if I laughed, <laughs> then I laughed. You know, I'm not, I'm not back there. I'm not back there giving out pity laughs. I see. Okay. Yeah, there was. But you know, that does, because I'm someone who um, deeply cares um, about my peers, I makes me want to look up the night and confirm that i had a show to prove to you that's, that okay that's why you i left. weren't just leaving halfway through you were like five minutes of this i gotta go this is truly i if it was if we're thinking about the timeline it was probably me working on s certain things for my special that actually does make sense i think it was and i guarantee i probably had another show to get to yeah. yeah yeah in fact i think you were maybe added to that show a little bit later anyways like yeah. you were just doing a lot so yeah I was like can I please get on here to run some bits I changed things up until the last minute and I I don't I continue to tag things so if anything the way you should be looking at that is I needed to go but I kept watching you okay <laughs> all right that will okay I'll think about it that way now that's perfect <laughs> I also like that you couldn't possibly remember it so you're like you, I could still actually hate you I have no idea um <laughs> well that's true yeah you want to give me do you remember any of the jokes you were doing up top oh man at that you remember time, how you opened well that was right before I recorded my album so, so you were firing all doing, cylinders as well yeah and stuff that I don't want to do anymore so I don't know if I remember it um, do you have an opener that you care about? Like, I always find that when I'm a nobody, it helps to have like a solid one liner. Yeah. Or you're not um, someone who works like that. I, I don't like I do feel like I, well, what I'm opening with now is completely different. And so I don't. There was definitely like a solid beginning part that I was working on because that was for the album. And I don't Yeah, You got to start strong. The, uh, this is my way of getting you. Um, you have to listen to my album. <laughs> yeah. What's it called? <laughs> Mostly finger guns. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Okay. It's um. Anyways. I'll, it's I guess I'll wait. I won't make you do your opener then. Yeah, because I don't remember it honestly, which isn't probably not good because it wasn't that long yeah. ago. But whatever. Well, I think sometimes, unfortunately, the way we're programmed is 
you know, I'm, sh- I don't know. I blame Louie for starting it, but it was like oh, an hour every year. Right. Um, and so it's thing. almost like I got to burn this material. And the truth is you want to find a middle ground, but I, unfor- I've been affected by that as well. Like if it's out, it's dead. Do you feel like but you have now? You go see a, oh, definitely. I mean, I barely remember my jokes. I basically quit stand up comedy after that special. I was like, I'm done. I hate it. Well, that's how um, I think it makes you feel. Not that I've done a special, but you put all this into, and then you're doing older stuff that you're like trying to get into this thing. And then afterwards you're like, I don't want to do any of that. But then you're like, then I don't have anything else. So, yeah. yeah. And it, you know, I would argue that when you come, I, obviously when you come see a comic, it matters, you know, like if you came and saw me in Seattle, March 3rd, 2020, you just saw the special. Right. Yeah. If you come see me now, you're going to see a shell of a human crouching behind a stool like <laughs> is this okay you know yeah so <laughs> that's good that's good okay well this is a perfect opportunity to get into your good ideas we like to give our guests credibility so that when we get to your bad ideas everyone knows you've had plenty yeah. of good you gotta have ideas. credibility to be believed absolutely it's true yes we can't just believe people anyway <laughs> <laughs> all right so beth stelling you have a comedy central half hour you're on the netflix show the stand-ups you've done conan you were a writer on all of these shows crashing i love you america the last og and for the movie good boys which um, she very nicely showed me her chair from that uh movie just right before this while the studio was trying to get her lined up <laughs> <laughs> uh, and most importantly uh you had an hbo special called girl daddy that um, is still, of course, still available. Very funny. I think it's great, but also in the talks for Emmys. So yes, it, yes, it's great. Uh, I got to get these people to vote and get my name going in the pump it through the AC because I'm the underdog for sure. Okay, I, nobody, nobody uh, knows me. Well, there you go, Beth Stelling, uh, girl daddy. <laughs> if you can vote, that's where you're. Please are vote. Going. I would. I would uh, very much appreciate you voting for me. I will um, say, I mean, I'm not, okay. So I've been watching stand-up forever as a lot of stand-up comedians have. My fiance also worked at a club, so she's seen like way too much stand-up too. Yeah. And uh, we watched your special together and I just think it's great, but she is a pretty tough critic and out loud laughed like the whole time, like just loved it. Wow. So that makes me feel great. Right. Just, I love to hear that. A server at a comedy club really loves your special. Um, no, truly. I mean, I've always felt that way when, when I connect with the wait staff or, you know, I can see them laughing and they talk to me afterwards. It always makes me feel good. I've enjoyed, uh, I also really love, you know, when comics respect me, like it makes me feel good. So, well, and um, I, yeah, those are the people that have seen so much of it that when you still stand out, after yeah. seeing so much I think but yeah I've just watched her you know I've put on other specials that I think are great and she's kind of like oh yeah okay but yours she's <laughs> like legitimately laughing out loud the whole time so well tell your fiance thank you I'll tell her right now okay thank you. <laughs> what's her name Aaron thank you Aaron <laughs> I'm I'm, Aaron if you can join the television academy and vote for me an outstanding variety special pre-recorded as well as outstanding writing for a variety special Please do. Please do. She'll tell She's like, that. what are you talking about? <laughs> she She's much. like, you've taken it too far. <laughs> I liked it, but not that much. Um, okay. Well, anyways, congratulations on all of that. It's, it's Thank wonderful. Thank you. It's very um, kind of you. Uh, but yeah, so when I sent you kind of the prompt for the bad ideas, what did you, what did you think of first? I have an invention um, so that you can text and drive and it is a scarf that (laughs) looks like hands and it should match the shirt you're wearing because it's going to go right here and then it extends straight out and velcros to your driving (laughs) your wheel and it looks like hands and then that way you're just free to text and drive and but you got to have your knees on the bottom of the wheel to steer (laughs) still obviously unless you're in a tesla and then congratulations (laughs) I'm just kidding. I te- the funny thing about Teslas out here is like a lot of people have them. I did actually have one for a brief period of time. Oh, okay. Not even a brag. There you can get it. It's not. They're not that. Everybody looks at it like it's some extremely expensive car, and I think the down payment's like similar to a Honda Corolla or something. Anyway, <laughs> is the Honda a Corolla? Toyota Corolla. So Toyota sorry. Corolla. I mean, honestly, I apologize to Toyota and Corolla and everyone involved. Okay, but the point is. <laughs> People like look at you different. I hated the Tesla. It gave me major anxiety, the battery charging thing. I traded it in. 
Okay. And people did look at you differently. You felt like they were judging you just for... I one time was on the highway and it was driving me and very slowly because it was LA traffic. And a guy, speaking of Hondas, went like this towards me and it makes my car react to protect me. Oh. And then I looked at him like, and he goes... <laughs> That's I didn't even know that. It's like high school bullying, but it, on the highway. Yeah, that's the same as like kicking someone's leg out from behind them when they're walking. You know, like that's. And I don't think it really. I don't think I count as the underdog because I'm in a Tesla. Right. Yeah. You're like you're not. You know. This and you're... But again, I stand by my statements of of it not being as nice or cool a car as I see. So it you want to change the stigma so you can get back. I'd to love to change driving. this. I'm out here <laughs> fighting for Tesla owners to destroy the stigma. <laughs> No, anyway, I traded it in for a Volvo. Okay. <laughs> and the Volvo people were like, why? <laughs> and I was like, I'm sick of being bullied on the highway. That's pretty, how long did you have the car for? Mm, about a year. About a year. Hated okay. It. So Hated enough it. enough time where you had more than one experience. Of it's fun if you zip around. Okay. If you like to zip, if you have a need for speed, uh, but I don't. Yeah. I could, yeah, I'm not really a It will go to like either. zero to 80 in three seconds, and yeah. that can be fun. Yeah, scary. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry, back to the, the texting scarf. Can we edit that out? Okay, listen, <laughs> the other thing is, oh, wait, oh, yeah, the texting scarf. So would you use that or what? Yeah, I mean, so basically it's just so you don't get in trouble. When you first said something for texting and driving, I thought it was... A safety precaution. Yeah, to make it maybe easier to do so. But this is just so you wouldn't get pulled over. Yeah. But if you're in a Tesla, who cares? Yeah, it's driving for you. Yeah, so these are just to make you feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just so you, people in in the, in Hondas don't veer yeah, towards don't, you out you of go. anger. So they think, there you go. I mean, honestly, that might be what this invention is better for. Because even if you weren't texting, you could still just leave them up there and then... People yeah, wouldn't be able to. And everybody thinks you're focused. Yes. It, it's like, <sighs> I don't know. I think I have an old joke about it that's like, I almost hit a man. I was texting and driving and I did almost hit a man, but he was texting and walking. <laughs> and then I say, texting and driving is a lot like blowjobs. Everybody's like, no, but I can do it, but I'm good at it. But either way, somebody's going to die. <laughs> I think that's the old joke. I just remembered. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, I mean, because I do, I try not to, but I do text and drive. Everybody does. And when you're not doing it and you're driving, you're like, these freaking idiots all on their phones. Look at but when you're, you're on it, you're just like, I just one text. This is important. I have to react to it. Yeah. Or else they'll feel alone. I have to react. I need to send this GIF real quick. Yeah. And then I'll get there. <laughs> Easy. I'm sending a gift. <laughs> I'm GIF? sorry, officer. I was sending. Is it a gift? I, I don't know. I never know. <laughs> I don't. I will never know. You're younger. I just go. I just guess and hope that no yeah. one notices. Gift. So yeah, that's my. I mean, do you need more of my bad ideas? Because there is more. Yeah, I would love more, but I'm just. I'm, do you have a name for this little scarf? Um... <laughs> hand thing. helping hands i Ooh, mean that's pretty good that sounds like the helping charity. hand scarf yeah. <laughs> let the hands drive take the wheel wait take the wheel <laughs> hands take the wheel scarf hands take the wheel scarf hands, scarf hands instead of scarf face oh i see and then scarf. the packaging will be scarf me as scarface <laughs> nice that like black and white classic poster <laughs> that's good scarf hands I think that's okay. I like that too. Um, or there's that poster of him in the hot tub. So it could be you in the hot tub. And it's like, who do I trust? Scarf hands. That's I like that. Yeah, that's, good. that's even better. <laughs> um, Yeah. I don't know. Has that been done? I wonder if anybody's done that. I wonder or if that's just my dumb idea. I think, I don't know if enough people are thinking about how to get away with shit. <laughs> <laughs> There are people who, you know what a big focus out here is? Getting away with being in the carpool lane. Oh. We'll have like a blow up doll. I one time saw a big Shrek you in the driver in the passenger seat. You could take the scarf hand and just kind of prop it up yeah. on the or yeah. on the hang what's this thing, the little 
hand yeah. thing. Put it over here like you got your arm around the person next to you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then they'd be like, so maybe somebody's laying down or something, but they're there. They're laying down. They're sucking my dick right now, actually. So there is someone in the car. <laughs> Someone's going to die. Uh, and, they, and they're like, okay, where are they now? I'm like, well, they disappeared with the embarrassment. You scared them off and I couldn't finish. <laughs> they left their hands. Though. They left their hands. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I haven't seen anything like. But I'm wondering if they wouldn't want to advertise it as much because then they might get in trouble. You know. So you're right. It's almost like those. Um, they sell. Um, like stickers or magnets to go around beer cans that are like, um, Doctor oh, Pappy or Doctor so Peppy like or whatever. Soda, but you can yeah. Also, but you can drive and drink. In the car. Yeah. <laughs> well maybe it's just for like festivals or something i love how i was like so you can drink and drive <laughs> well that's what i thought at first too that's probably not good but yeah well because then <laughs> that's what you get one of those wrappers you got your scarf hands up top and then you just you can drink while you're driving <laughs> all of my inventions are like you know and it's um you know a way to hide the body um <laughs> it's like a body bag but it looks like a cello <laughs> They'll know, they'll know. Um, they just think you're throwing away your musical instruments in the woods. Yeah. Did you notice her inventions were all um, crime based? <laughs> okay. My next one. Are you ready to move on, or do you have more questions? No, I think that's fans? good. I think. Uh, okay. I think they're good. I'm ready. For yeah. Things. I was trying to think of like other things that could be used for. Oh, I mean, you, if you were wearing it out, you could just have it gently resting on your boobs. <laughs> The hands. That's. I mean, if you're like single, Wrap maybe feeling one a of little these of lonely, then you could you could have yeah. it hold you. That's when like, you take a nap, yeah, I have it go like this. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, there's ways to do it. Oh, you just could like, use it when it you're on a Zoom head. meeting or something. You know. You yeah, that's like, a great idea. Where are these other hands coming from? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. And then my other, this is more of like a movie idea okay. that is actually inspired. So I um, have the honor and privilege of being friends with the great Sarah, K the great, Sarah Kate, the great Sarah Silverman. Okay. And yes. um, so this is actually inspired by one of her bits, okay. which she has, a, she has tons of great bits, but I don't want to ruin it because she's doing it right now on stage. But anyway, I'm just going to say it's inspired by her. Okay. And the movie idea is um, a movie about, it would be in a world where, <laughs> imagine a world where the, the, em, the pregnancy doesn't happen inside anyone. Oh, okay. So the, the embryos are getting, getting fertilized outside of people. So you can still wear a condom. But if he doesn't wear a condom, it's so we have to figure out where the embryo is. I think right. it's just like maybe if she comes, the the egg, or the if she comes, the egg comes out. And okay, obviously, so it's gonna be it's gonna be minuscule. It's it's the same microscopic type of egg, right? You know, mil, you know, we're talking so small. So how about that? When she comes, oh my God, there would be like no babies because women would never be coming. Yeah, that's what I, that we're as but much as men. Maybe it would. Uh help with that issue i don't know <sighs> no it would hurt the i don't know because men would be like well i don't want to have a baby so i'm not gonna That's make true. her come i'm, gonna, I'm gonna, her gonna get in and get out yeah okay so but back to the idea for the movie <laughs> so babies are made outside of the body and you could have safe sex but if you are a good man a good hetero man uh, -huh. uh you're gonna make her you're going to make her jism mm -hmm. and the egg's going to come out and then your jism's going to get on there and then the egg will be fertilized. And you can, maybe there's like a, a baby spray that you like spray on the bed or something, but some of them could get away. Oh. <laughs> so when it comes out, some it of them like... could roll off the bed. Some of them oh. could survive the washing machine. Okay. We, okay, this is turning into a horror movie. Say shelf life, but that's not. I tried right to word. pitch this to my boyfriend last weekend, and he was like, "This is a horror." This is what we want. I thought it was going to be a comedy, but it's it's shifting into a horror film. Okay. So then sometimes so these little embryos away. can get away. Okay, they maybe they hide and let themselves grow fully, and then they come back and knock on your door. <laughs> <laughs> Grow into a baby. Maybe they don't know how to knock yet. 
So they, but they could, I mean, maybe oh. there's a place they go, like the sewers. Yeah, I, I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know why Raised by Wolves came into my head, but there's like a group of these babies that have got, gotten away, gotten away. And, Runaway babies. And then Runaway they, embryos. They get, you know, like Lord of the Flies style, just create a little children's society. Children's society? I mean, think about it. Yeah, children's society. But think about it. Like, obviously, some people are going to do evil with this. Oh, yeah. So maybe there's baby, maybe there's embryo collectors. Oh. That like... There's got to like, be weird stuff like, with that. So instead of not trusting the woman anymore to like tramp you with the baby right. or whatever, which is, you know, I don't believe do in. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you're like really wary of cleaning people at hotels and stuff. Yeah. They have a, they have a system going where they collect the loose embryos. So if it happens every time, similar to uh, men in our world where there is an ejaculation. So if mm -hmm. you were to masturbate as a woman, would you then... Uh, no, your eggs are just going to be like, they'll probably die in the sheets. Okay. <laughs> so same thing. It wouldn't be like, so it has Although, to be Although, you know, jizz can last inside of you for up to two weeks. Two weeks? Is that true? So like, say you're ovulating and you take a plan B or something. Mm -hmm. Say you're ovulating or the end or whoops, I don't know, the condom breaks. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, uh oh, I got to take a plan B, but you're already ovulating. It's too late. Something's happened. You can still get pregnant. Right. Okay. And jizz can live in you. Say you didn't do anything about it. You didn't even take a plan B. Jizz could live in you for two weeks, especially if it's a virile person. And you were like close to ovulating. You're like, it's probably fine. So then it could come afterwards. Might not be fine. Either. And this is why it it's be best fine. to be gay. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's going well. Um, <laughs> okay, so it could you couldn't you wouldn't like accidentally fertilize. Yeah, I, I feel so, like so they have to be fertilized and then they can get away. Yeah. Okay. And I think they could. They. I don't know if they're gonna live through a wash cycle. This we're just in the early stages of writing this right now. Mm -hmm. You and I. <laughs> yes. We're working on it. But it could live through a washing cycle. Okay. So or maybe they can't. I don't know. Can it swim? All I'm saying is. I mean, it swims already, right? Because when it's in your oh body, my god, what if so you like were like doing the sheets and it flicked up onto the wall, and then like two weeks later, you're like oh my god, you There's know, and then you have to like the you have to kill an embryo, Jeez. or it's like a fetus that's like cling like it's like a cicada clinging to the wall, like yeah. Wait, hold on, how do I do it on the edge of this? Wait, why am I so bad at this? You know, it, it's like a cicada clinging to the it's edge be of your the wall. For this. <laughs> <laughs> This is really my good side. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Wait, I can't. Okay. Um, I, can't. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard. I can always do it. It's backwards too. You so do it. Using. No, I can't see where I am at okay. all. <laughs> okay, so it's on the wall. Okay, just sorry. Growing yeah. What if it was? And then you're like, oh my God, my bedroom's so messy. I found like three fetuses. <laughs> And I don't know whose it is. Yeah, there would be. It could be different depending on what sort of timeline. That... And if you were drinking a lot that week, you're like, one's just like a tooth with hair. <laughs> we did a bunch of drugs. We did a bunch. Of... One is just like a fingernail and a tooth. That's too early. I think it would just be like looking like a seahorse or something. Yeah, what they they do look like seahorses at the. Yeah. Tadpole. Looks kind of like I'm sweating through here, but it's okay. just my Jeremy Piss shirt from my special. Nice. There Jeremy you. written in P. Ooh. Are, are you, I guess you're in studio. It's hot in my apartment, but I am not sweating. Too, but okay. I mean, we believe you. It's all good. Um, Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So you could just have, but they could get away. So is the horror, is he, yeah. was he thinking, your boyfriend, was he thinking that the horror comes in the, them coming back? Or yeah. just the idea that you could have one and not. I think he doesn't it. like it that they could come find us. I you see. Know? Yeah. I like Because they, they they have an extreme will to survive. Obviously. Yeah. Um, I think that does present a different experience for women, though, because, you know. We, our it, lives would be crazy different. Yeah. It's a joke that men are like, oh, I could have kids out there I don't know about. Like, that's impossible for a woman because you're like, yeah, no, I had, yes. the, I had the baby. <laughs> Speaking of when I asked you what some of your openers were, that used to be an old opener of mine. Really? I would say 
good to be here. I've been traveling around the country, drinking white wine. So I have no clue how many kids I have out there. I think that was an old opener. <laughs> That's a good See, years like, ago. Yeah. Anyway, oh, but yeah, our that. lives would be so different. Yeah. We would be free. Well, because you, yeah, you could do what some guys are able to do you just jizz and leave and never think about it except in this horror film where they come back to find you or where you find one under the bed or three yeah under the bed. but there's spray it's like spermicide but in a lysol can okay and if you spray the sperm they can't even get to your eggs and again women aren't coming as much as they should so it's right but the he'll be like she said she didn't come how is this possible and then he'll have to be embarrassed for himself did you make her come, dude? And I'm like, no, yeah, I totally did. It's like, well, well where's the fetus? I like that idea of like, because a lot of fertility issues come from inside the body. But now yeah. since it's outside, you'd be like, uh, we're having trouble conceiving. We'd be like, yeah, it's because you can't make her come. That's your fault. That's on you, buddy. <laughs> and then you have to wear a shirt around for the week. That's like, I don't make my partner come. Mm -hmm. It's a, we shame you into doing a better job. I'm bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm bad. At I'm with sex. I'm with bad at coming. Hey, no, <laughs> no, or whatever. That's the yeah, okay. Bad yeah. at pleasing. That is the annoying thing. It's like when women can't come, they'll be like, "Well, it's hard to make women come. Like it's on us or something." And it's right. like, it's quite literally a simple, repetitive motion with the tongue will do it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and then the idea of like, have you ever eaten an ice cream cone? <laughs> Do that. Just start there. Just pretend it's an ice cream. Cone. Except it don't bite. That's true. But I don't like people who bite ice cream anyways. You should like the whole thing anyways. <laughs> I know. I, I understand where you're coming from, but sometimes it's, it's just cold. you want to eat it. That's true. Um, I had a point and I forgot what it was. Uh, well, I derailed you a couple times and I'm sorry. That's okay. Because this is the first time I'm really getting this deep into the well, pitch. And I think we're onto something here. Um, yeah, I'm so, so then, sorry if I cut you off or interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate it when that happens. You know, you think of a good, sometimes it's just a dumb riff and then it'll cling in your brain like this. It's like just right here. I'll remember like an it earring later, caught in your I'll hair. Email it to you and that's what's going to happen. Please do. Um, no. Okay. So what happens if a couple was intentionally what? conceiving, where would you keep put it? Yeah. Yes. Maybe like in a uh, retainer case. <laughs> Just for the first. Do so you have to like upgrade each, you know, yeah. each trimester? And they'll be like, into a it's space. not growing that fast. Tom, your sperm's probably slow. Yeah. Just, we'll just find more ways to blame them for stuff. Yeah, but that seems like what the whole main point of this is to blame the men. <laughs> <laughs> um, We could say like, you know, maybe the safe move is actually take it to like a lab okay and of course that's going to open a whole new industry yeah baby like growing lab. jobs here really but yeah. yeah like but it would be all competitive there'd be like crappy ones that just like like just like dog kennels and stuff yeah. you know some of them there's like a pet hotel but then there's also just like a cement cage with a fence yeah you gotta check the yelp reviews on your yes. baby growing lab oh well where is your baby growing well we put them at oh meadows a, oh my god mine's at place pretty yeah expensive. mine's at the ranch, <laughs> the ranch. Mine's in we the can't closet afford there. it um yeah oh we couldn't afford the meadows we didn't lucky get in. for you we applied but we didn't get in yeah yeah tom's iq is too low <laughs> they didn't want it tainting the other embryos another reason to blame tom yeah I, who is tom it's really fucking up <laughs> I think this is the problem with this show is that we get going and then I'm like, I want to see what happens. I want to see the, sh the movie. I would like to. <laughs> well, nobody steal this then because we've got to write it. <laughs> yeah, we got to work on it. <laughs> it could be a fun horror. I think it's going to have to be a cartoon, though, don't you think? For, yeah, it would be a lot of like. <laughs> the prosthetics CGI alone. <laughs> <and> stuff, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know that like, uh, what are their faces? Who are the, who are the anti-choice people? 
Baptist church. What are they called? Oh, the Westboro Baptist yeah, church people. Yeah, them and whoever else made the baby parts video. Remember when they were like, they're selling baby parts, but they made the video. It's like, right. you're the sickos in this situation. <laughs> you made a Halloween horror movie of fake baby parts and then made it seem like it was actually from Planned Parenthood. You were the problem. Right. Anyway, some that. anti-choice people would come to the set if we did it oh, uh, live action. Yeah. And they'd be like... These Hollywood liberals, they're chopping up. They're, they used real baby extra fetuses from Planned Parenthood. <laughs> and then they just put them under the bed where they found them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've always wanted to be protested. I've been protested by them. And I think it was, was like, it? it was never too late. And I wanted to be like, oh, no, it's literally too late. It's, yeah. I'm leaving. <laughs> you missed my entrance. Yeah, yeah, you missed your chance. I entered through the back because we know you're out front. <laughs> yeah. You got to really surround the building if you're going to try. <laughs> yeah. I do love the counter protesters of the uh, pro-choice people. They always have the best signs. Oh, yeah. I, and I appreciate those people very much. I mean, I'll go out, out on doing, a limb and say they're out there doing the a good bit work. more clever yes. in general as a person. <laughs> I think so too. But can you imagine spending part of your daytime going to stand out front of Planned Parenthood and being like, you're bad for doing this? That's, yeah. I, you know what no, we I cannot should start doing? doing that, but Handing them babies. Yeah, can you hold this real quick? For real. Can you hold my baby and then leave? And then <laughs> This would be, I mean, that could be a, a, a scene in, because I'm sure they'll be, like you that. know, some people protesting You're right. baby labs or something, you know, whatever. Right, and right. Then, like, then, they should be growing in your home. Yeah. Yes, home births only. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll I wonder what, what the protesters would find. Like, how would, how would the, uh, how would the anti-choice people hate this movie, I wonder? They would find the children's society in the woods and be like, this is what happens when you or, are careless. Are they somebody who, they would be like, they would be like anti condoms and anti the jism spray that we talked about. Right. Yes. Cause that would be a condom. They would be blocking it and they would want all the babies that were fertilized on that, on the bed to, to be, to be given too, homes. Yeah. <laughs> but they want you to do it, not them. Exactly. That's, that's the rule. None of the right people are having abortions. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I mean, I will, <laughs> I will agree with that, but yes. <laughs> uh, that was a great line. Okay. Um, well, what would we call it? What would the title be? Working title here. Working title. Of the babies being. What are some babies? images I've made you think of? Because right now all I'm thinking of is like a bed, like a wet bed. It's pretty gross. Yeah, and I didn't think of that, but I do, I, uh, the image specifically is the growing of the baby is kind of the, that's good, I like that, um, <laughs> of where, you know, what, I don't know, is it a sack inside of the retainer case, you know, those, those, those yeah. are the images I'm getting of the actual baby growing, and then right. the children living in the woods. <laughs> I thought we said sewer, but wood sounds good, oh, too. Oh, yeah, wet, wet sewer. Maybe a wet log. They gotta go they through this sewer out to the woods yeah fern gully For, uh, but no wings <laughs> uh okay what is the working title because what's the point of the movie out of the um i guess it's just like the point we have to really create the world like the, i think the point of the movie would be to show the freedom and that we would have as women right. if yeah. we didn't have to house them yes. that would be the point of the movie right. is to be like because we already did Junior, that movie with Schwarzenegger. Right, if a man Mito. could have a, a baby. Yeah. But and is... you know what? Maybe that does need to be redone. And let's just put that out here right now that maybe I should do the, the remake on that. Junior, Junior, Junior. Yeah, Junior too. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> okay, but so that's not our point. The point is to show how different the world would be if women weren't treated like flower pots. Yes, I agree. And I like the because it happens out of the it's like out of body it's a little confusing but it's our world and we're allowed to make it whatever we want right, exactly it's just confusing because we don't know it yet and we're inventing it yeah exactly it's a process look anything great is yeah it takes time <laughs> uh I, I like the out of because it's out, out of body out of body experience something like that like out of i don't know yeah hmm. 
Yeah, instead of in vitro, out vitro. Oh, out vitro fertilization. I, I think that's a thinker. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's there. a thinker. <laughs> oh, they're spraying for they're spraying for bugs around my place it right could now. Could be for babies. We don't know. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> People wait? that like you would have if you were really rich and you never wanted to be pregnant. Oh, just spray. instead of signing like an NDA or instead of signing like paperwork or something that like promises you won't trap them with a baby or they have no responsibility, the guy just brings in a Terminex guy, to but for, for like a fetus Terminex or <laughs> just before on the bed. That yeah, right beforehand they just spray. Maybe something benign kills. You know, maybe it's just vinegar. Oh yeah, okay. And it's a red flag, like if you are trying to marry someone and they they have like just cupboards full of vinegar, you're like he was a slut. That's true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we'll work on it. We'll let you guys know. You can I don't know comment your thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe give us pitch title names, please. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. be curious. Because like, that. look, we're here. We are on the spot. Yes, we're geniuses, but we're not perfect. Right. You and know, we, we just came up. I just came up with thirty this. minutes, and yeah. Uh, we have we had a different episode. With Sarah Colonna pitched us a, a novel, and some people did the artwork for the cover. So if anybody's wow. feeling, um, you know, artsy, I would love to see a cover for whatever oh title you come up with. And obviously, best yeah, too. <laughs> I wonder if you could really relax after you came because you'd be like, "We gotta kill them." Yeah, you know, before they meet. Before they meet. <laughs> Yeah, find it. Find, where is it? <laughs> and then, like, instead of butt sex in the Christian community, it would be just like mutual masturbation from across the room. Yeah, which seems safer, anyways. But whatever. Yeah. Um, from across the room, <laughs> <laughs> you go over there. Um, all right. Well, if people want to come in and find you or come and see you, where should they go? Website, yeah. social you media. Know, Girl I'm mostly performing over over here in LA to be honest I don't have a desire to tour um and I'm sorry if that's disappointing a handful of people um <laughs> my website is bethstelling.com Beth Stelling on all social media watch my special girl daddy please on H it's just called girl daddy not girl daddy please it's called girl daddy, <laughs> girl daddy and it's on please. HBO max <laughs> uh yes everybody could go watch it but if you're uh one of those people who can vote do that too oh yes i would much appreciate that yes oh. it, the voting ends uh june 28th and i'm trying to get i'm trying to secure the emmy nomination in those categories right what are the categories again say it again so one is Beyonce yes <laughs> yeah we need her votes the yeah. category is outstanding variety special okay. pre-recorded so that puts me in a separate category from snl nice. and the other category is outstanding writing for a variety special all right perfect well yeah We'll, we'll take care of it don't worry I'm yeah sure we're gonna this, try this... to get it we might not get it and and that's fine and that's but we fine. are submitted to be nominated it's the early process good step well, one i'm sure we'll all uh keep our fingers crossed and be we hope and good things for you anyways but um yes check out the special also if you're watching on youtube you can subscribe if you're listening on apple or spotify or whatever subscribe follow like give a review all the shit you know what it is yeah do, do those things. things do those things give it a give it a like and a subscribe yeah and then if you got a, a are nice... you touring yeah oh yeah. sorry i interrupted and if you got a nice what sorry it's no, okay i was gonna say we, we have a nice see. idea for our title and you yeah we need that draw a cover or whatever yes please for our i would love to see that quite yeah, frankly too. but i want it to be ideally one of our faces it could be both of our faces yeah maybe it's a threesome because we're we wouldn't be worried about getting pregnant no yeah but the horror movie maybe your maybe your face is is on one of the little fetuses that you were hiding under the bed <laughs> That's what it is. It's you on top of the bed, maybe, you know, getting it, and then I'm underneath because you haven't noticed that I'm <laughs> developing underneath the bed. Look, we don't want to, we don't want to direct your art. You do your thing. You do whatever you think. Yeah. Are you going to go on tour or what's your deal? <laughs> yeah, I've been doing more traveling, kind of staying, well, some West Coast stuff, but I was, you know, I was in Oklahoma and Kansas and whatnot, not too long ago. Cool. So kind of getting back out there. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> now a moment of silence. Yeah. Now, um, yeah, you guys know where to find me, monicanevy.com and all that stuff. But you can come see my shows and uh, check everything out. Or right now, just keep watching Dumb Pitches.
And I'll watch your full set next time. Okay. Um, hopefully it'll be 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You're weird. Yes. <laughs>